Hey guys, thanks for joining me. This is Keith Gosnell on behalf of my partner, Carl the Shark Shukert. Um, thanks for joining me for this demonstration of Bloggershop. Now, uh, what Bloggershop is, is it allows your customers to create unique content and push them to their Shopify store blogs. Now, one thing about that is the majority of Shopify owners do not even use their blogs, which to me is a complete wasted opportunity, right? You wanna get more, the more content you have out there to drive traffic towards your products, the better, so why would you not use it? Well, that's where Bloggershop comes in. Now, one unique thing about uh, Shopify and the way that they handle blogs is they actually allow you to create multiple blogs within one store. Now, why would you want that? Well, if you have more of a generalized store, or even let's just take the fitness niche, and let's just say you know diet and training. Um, maybe you want to have a blog that is specific to content um, around you know weightlifting some uh, uh, equipment, you know dumbbells, uh, resistant bands, whatever it may be. Uh, you can have a blog that's completely unique to just that type of content. Now, you also may have uh, diet. Uh, products, you know, uh, uh, protein shakes, you know, whatever, whatever it may be that you want to then create uh, content around that's specific towards the diet. So you can actually have both of these blogs running at the same time on your Shopify store. Now in Bloggershop, you can, you can manage all of the posts uh, that you push to any amount of blogs uh, that your specific store has. And if you have the unlimited version, uh, you can connect to, you can install, number one, you can install Bloggershop on unlimited WordPress sites. Uh, number two, you can connect as many stores as, as you want, okay? You can have an unlimited store connection. Now, many um, many folks that are on Shopify or using Shopify as their e-com platform have multiple stores. So you can think of Bloggershop as that one dashboard that they can control basically all of their shops and all of their blog content on their shops in one place. In this demonstration, I'm also going to show you guys um, the Bloggershop Pro Plus, which is the first upsell in, in our funnel. I'm going to show you the features that are in that as well. Uh, the first being the ability to insert products, your Shopify products, right from your store, right into your blog posts. Okay, now that's something that you cannot even do on Shopify. All right, so we're going to allow you to do that, insert products right inside the content, and push that to your, to your Shopify blog. Uh, the other feature in the Bloggershop Pro Plus is our auto blogger. So I, I won't get into that right now. I'll actually show it to you here in a little bit, but just be aware that those two features are what's included in our, uh, our first upsell, which is Bloggershop Pro Plus. Now, uh, just lastly, before we get into it, I just want to talk about even if your customers do not have Shopify stores, we are including in the front end here is uh, a training that will show them exactly from uh, from beginning to end how to set up a store, how to get connected, how to find products, how to uh, really how to do everything that it needs that, that it takes um, to get a Shopify store up and running. Uh, and also, uh, if even if your customers have zero interest in in Shopify whatsoever, Bloggershop still works with WordPress sites, right? Because we have a uh, article database of over 65,000 unique articles that they can choose from. They can search videos. They can hit, put unique images in there, uh, royalty-free images, and still use it for their shop. Um, excuse me, for just their WordPress site. Now you can also take. Um, uh, one thing I forgot to mention is you can use existing posts that are already in your WordPress site to push to blog uh, to Shopify to your Shopify store. Um, we have connected with the guys at Spinner Brothers, and they have been gracious enough to allow us to give our users a free basic Spinner Brothers account. So right there alone, uh, the value is through the roof. Uh, you're getting a free Spinner account, and we all know if we've ever used a Spinner that they're they're not cheap. All right, so let's go ahead and uh, let's just jump in here and get started. As I said, it's very, very simple to use. I'm going to show you that uh, right now. So let's go ahead and jump into the article search. Uh, and as you see, you have article or video. Now we have uh, about really 200 categories and subcategories to choose from. Uh, for this example, we'll just go ahead and use the health uh, and fitness um, category here. And what you're going to see is each of these categories then comes with a set of subcategories. And as you can see, this one's quite large. I'm just going to get real general here and talk about, uh, let's just do diet. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and search that. The results are all going to come back down here now. Now what you can do is you can take a look and you can see if it's an article that interests you. Okay, so you just pop that open, you can take a look, make sure the content is what you want. Now once you've decided uh, what you want, what you can do is you can select uh, as many of these as you'd like and you can save them. 
Okay, so the reason that we do that is uh, in case you have found some articles and you don't want to do the search again and again uh, or forget which one it was, you can just save those articles uh, so that you can come back to them later and go ahead and spin them or do whatever you want to do with them and get them posted. Okay, so now that I've saved some, uh, I've saved a few articles to the uh, to the to our saved results area. But before I move there, I'm going to go ahead and just do a quick video search here as well. Um, so what we can do is we can add a keyword here. We'll just do diet here as well. We'll go ahead and search. <clears throat> all right, and you're going to be able to see um, uh, all the videos come up, and you can do the exact same thing there. So what I'm going to do is just uh, pick a couple of these and just go ahead and save those as well. All right, so we're good to go. Now what we can do is we can hop over to the saved results area. Okay, now uh, looking here, you're going to see here's all the articles that I had saved. All right, and you're also going to see this convert to post and uh, delete if they want to remove it. Uh, now we also have the video saved uh, results area where they can uh, scan through clicking on the titles. We'll go ahead and open that video and you, of course you can delete them from there as well. But let's jump over to the article. So what I'm going to do is just take this first one here, the seven quick tips for managing uh, diet and health. And what I'm going to do is just convert it to a post. All right, so it's going to go ahead and bring us over here. Uh, and what you'll see is we have our article all loaded up. Now, at this point, uh, what I can do is uh, let's go ahead and just add, a, add an image. Let's do a, uh, a, a featured image. Let's go ahead and set that. And you see I have a bunch of stuff here. So let's just go ahead and pick uh, that, that one's fine. And we'll be able to, at this point also, for SEO purposes, is add our titles, our descriptions, our alt tags, um, uh, which will all be spun if, if the user chooses to spin them, okay? Now we also, um, We'll have the uh, Blogger Shop SEO here. Now you can enter your own titles. We automatically insert the title and the description in here for them, which will be spun if they choose to spin this content, or they could go ahead and uh, just add their own titles if they want to get uh, a particular and, and add that themselves. All right, so let's go ahead and add an image in the uh, in the article as well. All right, so we'll go to the free image search. Now we connect with Pixabay, Pix, Pexels, and Wikimedia. Um, so right now I'm just going to do a quick search here. All right, and uh, let's just go ahead and pick this kiwi looking fruit. Now we can also put titles in, in here. So we can do all of our meta, which is gonna be important for SEO um, to uh, get that all. So let's just go kiwi. And uh, for example purposes, I'm just gonna put some stuff here. Let's see, so the, the kiwi diet and eat t eat kiwi all right <laughs> okay so we've got that in there we can set alignment um, to get it centered up we can link that off somewhere if we'd like to or choose the size I'm just gonna leave it as is right now and just go ahead and insert that into the post all right so now we have our image in there um, now what we can also do is uh, as I've said is add a video so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna actually add one right here uh, as you can see, we've got our videos that were all saved right into here, and it's easy enough to insert it. I'll just insert it right there, and I'm going to go ahead and save this draft. Okay, now. One of the features that I was talking about earlier was the ability to add Shopify products right into your posts, okay? Now again, that is our first upsell. It's for Blog Shop Pro Plus, so I wanna be clear on that, that it does not come with the front end uh, offer. All right, so at the very end here, I'm gonna go ahead and insert one. Okay, so I'm going to just click the Add Shopify Product. Now you're going to be able to choose any of the stores that you have hooked up. I'm using an unlimited account to, for this demonstration. The front end uh, allows you to install one WordPress site and connect one Shopify store. Okay, um, so what I'll do is I'll just pick Blogger Shop. We have a nice uh, development store here that's just for test purposes. Uh, but as you can see, you can uh, either select a product and you can drill down in those products. Um, uh, based on the collections. Uh, collections are what Shopify refers to uh, is, is their categories, okay? So we can certainly go ahead and um, uh, narrow that down. Now what we can also do is add a collection. Um, so what this will do is you can choose any of the collections that you have in your store, uh, which will basically uh, is a call to action that leads the visitors to the category page on the Log of Shop. Um, excuse me, on, on their Shopify store, okay? So you can either send them directly to a product or you can send them to a collection of products. For this purpose, I'm just going to pick one here and we'll just do this weight belt. 
All right, now we're gonna give you two different layouts to choose from. If you choose the square layout, you can insert that kind of like either mid paragraph or at the beginning of a paragraph and have the text wrap around it. Uh, or you can do a full product length, which will basically extend the, uh, the full width of the content area, which uh, I'm gonna use that for this purpose here. Now what I can also do is add tags. Um, so we can tag this article and we'll go ahead and do it here. We'll just say Kiwi and you know, fitness. All right. So what we want to do is make sure that we save our draft. And now what we can do is we can actually spin this article if we choose, okay? Now I'll go ahead and hit the spin. Now we offer two integrations, uh, Spinner Brothers and Spin Rewriter. As I've said, uh, Spinner Brothers, it comes, the front end comes with a free basic account to Spinner Brothers, okay? So there's no excuse to not spin. <laughs> We've got one included uh, for your customers. And what we'll do is we'll just go ahead and click uh, Generate. Okay, and as you'll see, it is now spun. Now what it won't do is it won't mess up any uh, images or videos or products that you've inserted into the article, okay? Now at this point, you can discard it. If you don't like it, you can spin the original content again or just go ahead and accept it. So we'll just go ahead and accept this. All right, so it's gonna load now the newly spun uh, content and we'll just go ahead and make sure that we save again. And now at this point, we can post to our Shopify blog. So I'm gonna go ahead and do this. Now, once we do that, you can choose the store. Again, if you have the unlimited, you can have multiple stores. So I'm just gonna choose the blog shop here. Now, what's also gonna do is allow you to choose the author. Uh, for this one, we'll use Shark. And then the blog, I'm just gonna use this blog right here, okay? And I'm gonna go ahead and post that article. Okay, so let's go ahead and take a look at it. Here is my actual blog. Let's refresh. And there we go, seven uh, quick tips for managing diet and health. And we can, you can see we have the, uh, what it's posted in, so we have tags here. We'll go ahead and click into the actual article. And you're gonna see there's the video that we put in, there's the image that we put in, and of course the product, which is one of the most important parts, right? We wanna get people over and buying. So when they, people uh, click the buy button, uh, they're gonna be taken right to the product that, where they can go ahead and purchase. Now, if uh, there's anything that we wanna edit on this particular blog post, uh, what we're gonna do is we're gonna head on over to the Shopify blog posts area. Uh, and what this is gonna show you is basically everything that you have posted to your Shopify blogs. Now we allow them for um, ease of use. You can search through the blogs. You can also filter by which store you've pushed your blog posts to uh, to make management a bit easier. But if I wanna go ahead and edit that, I just click the edit button, make any changes that I want, hit update up, um, post to Shopify blog, and it will go ahead and update any of that content. So I can swap out videos, images, whatever it may be. Now, we also have uh, the ability to moderate all your comments uh, from uh, any of your blog posts, okay? So you can add some canned comments in here. As you see, I have a few, uh, very simple. You just simply hit that and save it. It will save that for you. Uh, if you find that you're wanting to put, now you can put links in here, lead them off to anywhere you want to. Uh, if you find that you're you know, reusing the same, uh, the same posts all the time or the same comments all the time, you can go ahead and, and, uh, and set those up. Okay, so now if we go back into the uh, Shopify blog posts area, these are the ones that are live on our Shopify store. Uh, if we have any comments, as you can see, there's some comments here on this one, uh, you can moderate those from here. So they'll show up as comments come in. So you can view those comments. Uh, you can go ahead and delete it. You can mark it as spam. You can add a canned response to that particular, um, that particular comment, uh, or you can add just a simple reply. Um, so you can manage all of your uh, blog post comments right here from in, uh, inside Blogashop. Okay, the last thing I'm gonna show you is the, um, the auto blogger. Um, so basically, now again, this is the Blogashop Pro Plus. Uh, so this is the first upsell in the funnel and really is a no brainer. Um, so what we can do is we can create uh, different campaigns, all right? So it'll take us through a, a short three-step process where we're gonna give this a title uh, and we'll call this just demo. And they're going to be able to uh, select when they want these posts to publish, okay? Now we limit it to 20 maximum posts per campaign. Um, so what you can do is choose how many hours you'd want it to go, uh, when you want each one to go, or days, okay? So we'll just, for this purpose, we'll just pick uh, every day. Let's say one day we want it to go. Now what you can do is you can actually post these to your Shopify blog, where you can go ahead and choose the store, choose the blog that you'd like it to go to, uh, you can also uh, have it go live or publish to your WordPress blog. 
uh, if, if you if you so choose. Or if you don't want it on Shopify, you can just simply send it to your WordPress blog, okay, if you want to uh, send traffic to your store in that manner, all right? So they have the choice to do one or the other or both, okay? For this purpose, I'm just going to pick the blog here. All right, and we're going to hit next. Now what we're going to do is we're going to choose which spinner we want, and uh, this uh, the spinners will show up here if you have them connected in our settings area. Um, so we'll do this. Now this works the same way as uh, I showed you earlier. So we're going to go ahead and pick our categories and our keyword, and actually I'll just leave that one alone. Uh, you don't have to choose a keyword. And here's going to bring up all your articles where again you can uh, preview them if you choose. All right. Now what you can do is you can select up to 20 of these to uh, basically put in your queue. All right. So I'm just going to go ahead and pick, uh, let's just pick five of these. And then what I'm going to do is put a, uh, a, a SEO, put my title in my description. Now these will all be spun for each article that goes out, so it will be unique. So the way that I suggest we use this is that you kind of choose one keyword um, to kind of go around it per campaign, um, so that everything is is uh, is related. Okay, so we're just gonna I'm just gonna say diet, and uh, this is the kiwi diet. And of course we'd want to get more specific than that, but for demo purposes that'll do. All right, so we'll go on to the next step. Now what you can do is you can actually insert a product, okay? And that's another way to build these campaigns is build it around a specific product, all right? So you kind of have multiple ways that you can set these campaigns up. So I'm going to choose the collection of fitness, and I'm going to pick my that one there. And then you can go ahead, and what we'll do is we'll automatically go out and find and spin the metadata for whatever image that you find, okay, or that, that you want to insert into your uh, into your blog. Now this would be uh, the featured image, okay? So we can say keyword here, uh, Kiwi diet uh, is the best, um, and, uh, oops, sorry, <laughs> let's just do diet, that is the keyword, and this one here will be the Kiwi diet is the best, and our description uh, would be eat kiwis, okay. All right, now what we can do is we can save that. Okay, so once that is done saving, okay, so you'll see it's now in demo. Uh, we can delete it, we can edit it, whatever we'd like. Now what happens at that point is I'm going to go over to the scheduled blog post section. And now you're going to see this is our schedule, and you'll see that it's set to go out on a specific date depending on what I've chosen, okay? So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and um, at this point, this is just basically the queue so that they know what's going on next. As these articles go out, um, they will be removed from this list. Now, a user could come back in, they can delete one of the articles if they'd like, or they can go in and edit it if they want to make a few changes before it's scheduled to go. So they always have complete uh, moderation over, uh, over basically over their blog queue. Quick overview of Bloggishop. Um, as you can see, it's packed with tons of value. I think your customers are going to love it. Um, go ahead and um, uh, make sure you sign up on the G, uh, above for the JV notifications, and we'll see you guys on the leaderboards.